What's up, everybody? Welcome to another episode of The Throw Show where everybody this weekend just completely went off. Starting right off with Brooke Anderson going 79 meters. An absolute freaking bomb. How long until she breaks 80? I mean, next week. I don't think. <laughs> <laughs> I, yeah, this is massive. I mean, yeah, so I, I it, dude, I don't. I'm just like still blown away by how good one uh, the women's hammer is in the U.S., but also two, just in general, how good women are throwing right now in the entire country. Like in like mm -hmm. outside of just the hammer, it's every event is just absolutely a yeah. phenomenal. American records being set. You know the shot is deep, stupid deep, and then Val in the discus. It's like, dude, what the heck? So. Congrats to Brooke Anderson and uh, Nathan Ott, who's <clears throat> now at Grand Canyon. Man, road to 80 meters. She's coming right there. That's great. That's a great toss. Yeah, that's huge. And that takes us into, so they posted. So Martin posted this was the, uh, ooh, what a save, too, from Claudio. Um, why is the play button still on there? See that? Yeah. That's weird. There, there we go. go. This throw is absolutely huge. 67.02 from Claudio. I really like his finish. Yeah, that's that's absolutely massive. What would you change? I think we've talked about his. Dude, he's been on the show like every week. <laughs> I know, yeah. He's got to be the number one. Him and the other guy. Yeah, him <laughs> and the other dude. Watch his left in the middle. Yeah. And he just rotates. No, and just like how... You can see when he gets to the finish, and from this side view, how like his his hips are like up against the edge of the circle. Yeah, like it's he like just here. gets that Whoa. full transfer forward yep. into the finish. Boom! Right there. Yeah, he's like grounded. He's, he's using the circle like he's up on the finish, like a shot put thrower almost to the finish. Yeah, that's just an absolute monster bomb. Third all-time uh, behind Sam Mattis and uh, Hannes Hopley. Well, and then also actually his fourth all-time. Sam's throw is in the same circle, same yeah. meet. Yep. Different meet, actually. Oh, different meet. Yeah. They do get decent win there, here and there, off that right sector. Yeah. And that's the other thing. Like, thinking about this. So, Yurinde went 64-75. Actually, she's thrown 70 at this the same, you know, this is in Tucson. Um, 64.75 is huge. But I started to think about, I was talking to Jason about this. She's got the NCAA record in the discus at 70, which is not going to be broken for decades. Yeah. She's, you know, she's thrown over 19 in the shot. She could break the shot record. It'll be hard, but she could do it. Mm -hmm. um, the hammer record, women's hammer was broken this year. You know, then you start to factor in the men's shot is in, you know, there's two guys, Turner Washington and Pippery, that are in, you know, closing in on it. At least it's 22, I think it's 2202, and they've both thrown high 21, like 2170. Yeah. So there's just so many records right now. And then you factor in Alekna and the discus. It's like mm -hmm. this whole wave, and, and a lot of these athletes, I don't believe, I don't even think that there are any like COVID seniors yet. Like I think these are all younger, younger right, people. Yeah, yeah. I mean, like Cameron Rogers, she's commenting on this. Like, dude, she's only twenty-two. Yeah. So it's just crazy to see. All right, so this is Maya Lesnar, who is Brock Lesnar's Brock Lesnar's daughter. Little side story: I saw Brock Lesnar at lose his first NCAA title match. In 1999, the Bryce Jordan Center at Penn State, he lost to Stephen Neal. And I still remember with binoculars zooming in on him as he was warming up, wrestling from Minnesota, looking at this dude like, how, how could anyone beat this guy? <laughs> how can how could this happen? But so um, Maya is his daughter, and she just broke the 17 ma uh, meter barrier. So congrats to her. And that's just, that's a huge yeah, toss. That's massive. I wonder what it'll take to get from you know from first round into into the NCAA. I mean, this would definitely Typically? make it. Okay. Yeah, yeah. If she throws that at, at regionals. I like I mean, her. If she doesn't too. get in with that, that's that's insane. Which 
throws are insane right now, so you never know. But she's good solid movement. Yeah. She, I wonder if she's. I think she's a sophomore. I'm not yeah. positive, but I think so. It's a big throw. That is a nice toss, though. Krauser opened up. So Krauser opened up. I think he went high twenty ones. Um, 21.63. So I noticed that he started to, I feel like, I, can't, I might be wrong, but I feel like he's starting to like shift his start over to his right there a little bit more than normal. Hmm. And I was wondering if that's because he, he was over-rotating a little bit. In throwing out of the sector maybe. Yeah. I mean, I do feel like his, his finish is a little, I feel like he's landing a little open on the finish and that's why he's over there. Like, Compared to uh, other when he's in peak from him, yeah. yeah. But that's what's interesting. I was thinking with with him earlier when I'm literally just sitting in the sauna, going through different thoughts. One of my <laughs> one of my thoughts was like, someone who's so dialed in with their technique, like Krauser is, when he feels off because of training, like because of lifting or or whatever else he's doing, mm -hmm. he must feel like so frustrated that he's just not feeling that like snappy yeah. good position right. i don't know because he's so he is so dialed in with his movement and his movement patterns right he still just destroys that though yeah right it's like an off day goes 2160 it's hilarious <laughs> okay so oh this is christian cantwell's son who's six eight 13 years old He's Six, 13. eight, and he's close grip benching. He's not even, he doesn't even have a wide <laughs> grip. Look at that. Like that's two feet. The, yeah, the yeah. bar is dry, <laughs> yeah. at least. And, two and, and a half. his grip might be 14 inches. <laughs> Dude, that's insane. So he's 13 years old. Yeah, he looks like a freshman in college. I mean. So I remember he was, I think he was playing baseball before, but now. Um, came back to his roots. Yeah, came back to his roots. Prediction on what he throws in high school? I mean, I don't know. I mean, do we have... So if he's 13, he's got to be in 7th grade, right? He's in 8th grade. 8th grade? 17, 75? I mean, what is he throwing right now? I mean, like, I think, yeah, what? I mean, I think 75 at least. But... That's huge. I mean, that's, that's insane. What did you bench when you were in 8th grade, Trevor? I don't think I even was lifting back then. <laughs> I think I remember getting over 205 and thinking that I was the strongest person ever. And that was also when, like, your bench would go from 185 to, like, 250. It happened in, like, two months. <laughs> yeah, right. I do remember one time in eighth grade I did bench 200 once. He does move well there, though. Like, it's, it's, it's a good, smooth groove. That's nice. Yeah, really nice. that's, I mean, you talk about... Like children of the greats yeah, coming up and literally both parents, mm, like with chances of beating their, yeah. <laughs> you know, their their parents. So yeah, that's crazy. Fabrino commented, "He's stronger than me." <laughs> oh, so this is this is Cantwell's son throwing. Oh, here we go. Okay. Oh wow, he moves so real he's quick. Well. Yeah, he's real quick. He's so tall. So he's like he's six, seven, six, eight. Well, even that. What the heck? Look at the other kid next to him. Looked like he was six five. <laughs> Christian looks good. Yeah. Oh, Christian looks really healthy. Like, fit. Yeah. That's good. What do you think he would throw if he picked up a shot? 60 feet. Right now, 60 feet. Yeah, that's awesome. Dude, he's got just a 
boom, yeah. <laughs> big pop. Okay, so from Christian Cantwell's son to Virgilius Alecna's son, here we've got the absolute monster bomb. NCAA collegiate record, so what, 67, 68. I, I wonder this, like Mo, Mo Sitar is, dude, he's got two collegiate records. Like That's insane. Yeah, that's nuts. Like, that's absolutely insane. Four throws over 67 meters. Where was this throw at? Does anybody know? Oh, is that, is that at Stanford? Stanford? Or no, maybe that was, uh, maybe. Oh, man. This, the amount of time he works that finish, like. Yeah. And I just wonder, too, it's like. The, the, his shoulders are exactly like. His dad's, I feel like. <laughs> the discus this year, it's like there's five guys, I think, or yeah, five guys over 64. It's, dude, it's insane. Yeah. This is, I don't know, I just love, I love the fact that, and again, just going back to all the records that are being broken. And I think a lot of, dude, I honestly think a lot of this is just the access to social media. I know in this case, like this kid's been throwing discus since he's, Probably right, seven, right. but it's like. But it's just how the sports develop. Yeah, you know? it's it with with social media, it just expedites the whole process, yeah. and it keeps kids in the sport because they see what these guys are doing out of the season. So it's like, no one forgets. You know, when when we would grow up, it was like, oh, you threw in the spring, but now it's like, oh no, these guys are still throwing in the fall. And I think that's what is pushing everything so much. Yeah. So he's number two in the world as a nineteen-year-old, <laughs> and there's a good chance he's got. 10 more years until he reaches his peak. Of the, you know? I would assume he also broke either his dad or Goodzius's under 23 record. Mm -hmm. That's the other thing. Remember, Goodzius is a world champ. And he's going to have to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Alekna Jr. Yeah. <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> Dude, that's crazy. Oh, crazy. That's insane. So here's Nick Ponzio, 21.04. Looks like it was cold in Drake. I think that's the worst part about uh, Drake relays and Penn is like, you just never know. Like I remember Alex threw like 65 or 64 at Drake one year and it was snowing while he was throwing. It's like, yeah. you never know how cold it's gonna be. So. Yeah. Good movement though. Movement looks nice, hitting that finish. And then Chase, Ely. 1874. Opens well, smacks yeah. that. That's the thing too. It's like just watching everybody open up this this weekend and what's going to happen over the next year. I know it's just like the next three months. You it's know? like it's just. I feel like each week now it's just going to be more and more insane throws coming out. Yeah. So Loggy opened up 62 plus, or I don't know if she opened up, but she's down in Brazil where, where Rachel was. 62 meters, and they probably flew her down there essentially like that day. Yeah. Fly her down the day or, or the day before, and she has to compete and goes out and, you know, 62 14, international comp. Yeah. Dude, she looks. She's looking good. Real, yeah, she looks good there. Smacks that. And then that brings up Alex going 65-38. He had four throws over 65 meters. But he's falling in there. You can see he's falling this way and the discus right. is going that way. Yeah. I think. I mean, you can just see where he ends up in the circle. He was complaining about that wood circle then, how it was a little harder than he anticipated. Yeah. But they did set that up for, for good wind. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. yeah. It's cool that like, I don't know, pl like places just like respect that, like think about that. Oh, it's like, dude, it's like you wouldn't want to run the hundred into the, a strong headwind. Right, yeah, like, run with it. Seventy-two-five. That's insane. Tucker Smith with the glide. Let's see. I think he comes off his toe out of the back. It's interesting that there's still a lot of gliders like this. There was another girl from Indiana that Will that Will Fleming works with. Yeah, he does come off his toe. 
he's got that uh, gong technique. Yeah. Michel Gong. Um, Dang, yeah, is Tucker Smith going to Oklahoma? It looks like, looks like he might be going to Oklahoma. Um, I was going to say there was an Indiana girl that just threw 49-5, I believe it was, too. Oh. Man, he's, dude, he's explosive. Yeah, yeah. Dude, he's extremely explosive. Dang, yeah, that's a big throw. Okay, so here we've got freshman Benji Shu, 193. <clears throat> Boom. Yep, techniques looks, looks solid there. That's huge. Yeah, that's enormous. Second week in a row over. 190. Oh, he tag throws you in Ghostface. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Another freshman record. 193. Will he go over 200? Yes. How far is he going to throw a shot? This actually puts into perspective Vina's freshman record. He's probably going to throw like 62, 63. What is he? I mean, he's gone. He hasn't like broken 60s, 60 yet. He's like right. Yeah, 59? high 58. Okay, yeah. But Vina threw like 67 as a freshman? Yeah, that, that's insane. Um, also lefty. Yeah. Then we got this guy. Yeah. Javing going 189, just shy of 190. Yep. So Javen Williams, Penn State commit. <clears throat> He's definitely, I think, on the brink. 200 plus. Yeah, and and he shot going big and shot too. If he He's stops, gone 61 so far. If he stops over rotating. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's going to be interesting to see. I mean, uh, yeah, I think it's going to go huge, especially as it starts to warm up quite a bit. I told him it's hard It's hard to see in this video, but he, it's almost like Alex just exaggerated, like out of the back. He, he yanks on that left arm so yeah, much. Yeah, too much, yeah. And then he's like falling back. And, and it's tough because it's like on one hand he's trying not to go too long across the circle, but you can't just pull back in the middle either. Yeah, that's Got to be fair. getting over and then getting right on, like straight on top of the right foot. Yeah. But that's a that's a toss. Congrats, Javen. Dude, this whole last week was just crazy. I'm looking at this. Like we yeah. still have like five more they videos. Were the, and they were the they were the top two uh Americans. Americans. Yeah, so Benji top. and Javen. Yeah. And then that brings us to Rachel Fatherly, who flew down again with the same comp as uh Loggy. Dude, her technique looks so much better there. Like so much smoother out of the back. Yeah. Lines it up in the middle, finishes forward well. Is this her 18.08? Yeah. Nice, easy toss. 18.08. Good. She's just got to keep yeah, making great. that. She, yeah. her, her progress, we've been working with these slow throws. And I just mm -hmm. think she's holding better positions. Just getting that consistency. That's good. Good weekend for her. She yeah. went 17.65 yesterday then. She said she felt a little off, but good good competition. She got third. Yeah. She won she won the comp here. Yeah, that's big. Which is big. And then that takes us to Taman going twenty twelve, so he's back over twenty meters. <clears throat> Looking much better. Caitlin and I were watching uh Eric's throw. Oh yeah. Yeah. So Eric goes twenty twelve. Oh, that's the same one. Tam or Taman goes twenty twelve. Eric went twenty twenty to snipe him. Um, Eric was a little long off that right, similar to Alex actually in the discus, just mm -hmm. a little bit. Um, that's where I think both of them are going to start to dial in as it warms up. I think we're going to start seeing some a big spike in their performance. And Lucas went nineteen ninety, ten centimeters off of his PB. Yeah, you know. Not even yelling on the throw. I think right. Lucas, I honestly think we might have, this is going to be my prediction, Taman 21 by the end of the year. Um, maybe even like 21-20. Frick, I think, is going to go 21-20. And I think Lucas is going to go 20-40 plus. Dude, I'm telling you, I think that, I think that that's possible. Yeah. Yeah, this is, this is fun. This is awesome to see. Two, three. Yeah, they're all within a foot. They're all within a foot each of each other, all three. Yeah. And then, then leaving off, for yeah. last. You can talk through. The man, 
just huge. This is huge. Man. Tenth pro season. Boom. <laughs> <laughs> Just like, I, I just feel like you watch it in his hand and it's just like... Another throw. <laughs> so he had four throws over 22. Five over 71, eight. How old is he? Dog. What, thir- he's got, what is he, 32? 33? Dude, yeah. he's so big. <laughs> I was saying, I, I feel like he, he just really catches this one deep and just rotates through the finish. Like, he just... Holes through the finish with this. Huge. 22.45. Yeah, that's a big throw. Before we sign off, I did want to bring up Nick Hyde, who's dealt with some serious tragedy in his family, went 18 meters yeah, uh, that's huge. for the first time in his career this, this past weekend. So if you follow Nick or you've seen us post technical analysis of Nick and his brother, D. Hyde, 24, or uh, the general, is the other is Nick? Uh, their father and their mother passed away both in the last 18 months, and for him to go 18 meters, I think, is just phenomenal to mm-hmm. come, to work through and deal with all the emotional stress, and you know, also losing his support system and still coming out and competing. So, hit him up and and, yeah. and give him a congrats because I think that's a that's a big thing that we can do as a as the throwing community to keep us you know strong and and supportive. Yeah. Until next time, keep dropping bombs. Peace.